Michael Simon is the quintessential celebrity chef. A culinary genius from a food-loving family, he was raised on delicious cuisine, and it's fair to say it's paid off. If you're not already a fan, you will be after getting to know this down-to-earth celebrity chef. Simon's business is a family affair. I love a good husband and wife team when it comes to the restaurant business. My wife and I have been working together for almost two decades. According to USA Today, he and his wife Liz opened their first restaurant together in 1997. His father manages the books and his mother and mother-in-law even used to answer the phones. Simon is proud that his business has a quote mom and pop feel to it, despite the $60 million it rakes in each year. We've always looked at it like the greatest blessing in the world. He might be a celebrity chef, but that doesn't mean that Simon's above what some may consider to be inferior ingredients. In an interview with Serious Eats, Simon revealed that he has a thing for Miracle Whip, saying, My dad used it when I was a kid. I got older, I became a chef, and I thought, I can't use this stuff. It's bad. It's evil. But now I go to the grocery store and I get it. I put it in the cart, people start looking through my cart. I can't help it. I love Miracle Whip. You can't make it. You're allowed one guilty pleasure, and that's mine. Simon stays true to his roots with his cooking. He told She Knows that he admires the quote, simplicity and pureness of Greek cuisine, adding, Ever since I was a little boy, Greek yogurt has been a staple in my kitchen. In fact, my grandmother made Greek yogurt from scratch, and I've incorporated it into a ton of my recipes, including my wife's famous biscuit recipe. I actually eat Dan and Oiko's Greek yogurt every day because it reminds me of the yogurt I grew up with. Simon is also part Italian, and the food he ate growing up helped him solidify his reputation when he replicated it in his restaurants. He told Eater, quote, that's what put me on the map. Molecular gastronomy is one of the hottest food trends today, but Simon is already over it. His idea of good cooking is all about simplicity, not overhandled food. Every once in a while, you really got to treat yourself to something that's been made with so much love, so much passion. He told Philadelphia Magazine, the next big trend is going to be simplification, a continual movement back to basics. It's going to continue to move further away from foams and this and that and all this wackadoodle stuff and get back to great product cooked simply and put on a plate. So simple, but so satisfying. The Simon family knows good food. His mom passed down her knowledge of cooking and still provides guidance for her son. And he admits he still hasn't perfected one recipe in particular. My mother's baklava. <laughs> he told Food Network, She'll always tell me I'm doing something wrong. The baklava is a family recipe, and my mom is the only one who can make it right. I've been watching her make it since I was four, but I always mess up and over-chef it." Simon's mother provided the inspiration for his restaurant, Angeline, which is named after her. The menu is based off of family recipes, and one of the restaurant's signature dishes is aptly titled Mom's Lasagna. Simon told Food & Wine, "...every Wednesday at my parents' house was lasagna night. You could smell the lasagna baking houses away, and Wednesday was the only night of the week I was more than happy to be early for dinner. I've eaten lasagna from every corner of the earth, and I've yet to find one as good as Mom's." While there's a lot of infighting among celebrity chefs, Simon remains tight with Bobby Flay. We're best friends. But super competitive. Especially when it comes to barbecue. Oh, I just beat Bobby Flay. I've already won. One of the secrets to their enduring friendship, which goes all the way back to 1998, is removing the competitive edge. Simon said, We refuse to compete against each other, whether it be on Iron Chef or anything else. We've never gone head to head. We compete against each other on the golf course. We don't compete against each other in the kitchen. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.